Hello guys, welcome to Imagine System Design with Zyrinx Vivado and Jing FVG. So we are from Digitronics Nepal and currently we are in section 8 which is actually typical scripting with Vivado Design Suite or Vivado Integrated Development Environment. We have full lecture in this section 8. We have introduction, basic tickle commands and live session of creating a basic project on Vivado IP integrator with tickle and another lab is lab 8.2 which is importing tickle script from GitHub or like already created tickle file or exported tickle file. So after completing this session, you will be able to learn about tickle scripting languages, Vivado tickle support, Vivado tickle commands and basic project designing with Vivado tickle support. So I'm talking about tickle introduction. Actually tickle is tool command language, a scripting language. Tool command language is like a scripting language like is bash in Linux command. So this is a standard language for semiconductor industry. We can use this language from complete design flow to some specific part of design. So this interface is mostly used by Synopsis Design Constant, which is also called as SDC. This is a standard of constanting the FPG projects. And we can even create an generate timing constant for FPGA synthesis from synopsis simplify as well as other vendors tools so Tickle also provides us interactive method interactive way to process FPGA based projects on URO IDE we need Tickle commands actually we can optimize our design speed up our design and we can reduce the time to market for our design and another thing we need to know about is Tickle has some extensive features like if we did all the projects or all the operation of projects through graphical user interface then it will take more time while we use Tickle console or Tickle command then it will automatically reduce the time so one major thing is time and another thing is we can create and generate and process every steps on your IP integrator with command interface so that is more convenient to operate and more convenient to do it and most typically is highly prefer for creating projects and completing the all the FAG design flow via tickle script or we can even use this tickle part in some section in your integrator your IP integrator so we can create projects with tickle complete projects with tickle and we can even create a tickle file that is tickle script file of that project which actually con uh, which actually consists of some few kilobytes of memory uh, if we have projects of 400 megabytes then we can reduce that 400 megabyte of project into few kilobytes of tickle script so we can generate that tickle script uh, generate project by using that tickle script in another computer or other machine or another platform so one thing is it can reduce the memory size it can reduce the memory transfer complexity so we can create a tickle script for many projects and another thing uh, we need to know is we can even uh, archive the project actually project archive uh, reduces the overall project size this is another feature of pivot ip integrator so on this section we are just focusing on tickle so while we open our projects with tickle and we can see the tickle console here uh, while we open our vivado ip integrator or vivado then we can see the tickle console and we can see type or tickle commands here section so we can type our commands in that type or tickle commands here and we can see all the commands we have entered or we have used in tickle console and another thing is while we also work with graphical user interface or while we work with graphical user interface only in Vivado then it will automatically generate corresponding tickle in the tickle console so we can use that tickle console tickle commands and create a separate script file so we can use and customize that file for further proposal we can utilize the file for different project propose so while we open our Vivado before uh, creating a project we can see the tickle 
console and another thing we need to know it after opening the vivado we can see all the typical commands we have used with gui or we have used on tickle console and i'm talking about basic tickle commands actually basic tickle commands consist of uh, like uh, some mostly used tickle commands like uh, changing directory is like quite similar with other uh, windows or linux commands like cd we can use uh, change directory command cd commands and space and we can use way to change and another thing we need to know is creating new projects so we can use create create underscore project this is the command and create underscore project project name project directory minus part space part name is the command for creating a new project and while we need to add our constraint in that project we can go to add files add underscore files space project directory and projects uh, directory source source one and we can insert that our sources design sources or constant sources in that location and we can create a block design so for that we need to have commands of create underscore bd underscore design space design name so if we run these commands on tickle console as we see here so we can insert our commands in the tickle console which is also instructed with type or tickle commands here so we can insert every commands in that console then we can see the command listed in blue format and all the comments are in black fonts so another uh, commands we have adding ip and block design we can see uh, start group and we can do enter and we can have create bd cell this is consist of underscore and space minus type ip and the ip property is here we have added axi gpio ip with these commands and we can do the end group actually this is standard format this is standard format is also available at ug835 835 user guide is xilinx user guide for tickle com commands and tickle support you can also visit that uh, user guide and updating file set compile order we can see update compile order file set sources one close block design is quite easy close underscore bd underscore design close project close underscore project and we can do exit uh, from vivado that is just a exit and while we need to synthesize a vivado project we can launch launch underscore runs space synthesis one wait on run synthesis one that is actually it will wait until the synthesis process is completed so launch underscore runs space synthesis one is tickle commands for synthesize the project and another is implement the project actually implementation can be done with launch run implementation one actually this commands is complete for implementing and generating bt stream but we don't need to generate every time so we can just uh, launch underscore runs space implement uh, impl underscore one that is implementation one after synthesis one or uh, after synthesis or after implementation is just a representation for the first process or the first synthesized process we can do again another synthesis also while we need to open our uh, vivado project previously created vivado project we can do open projects project directory project name dot xpr so this actually opens the previously created project in the corresponding directory actually the dollar sign here signifies the variable in the tickle commands actually we will discuss this type of uh, symbols in another session uh, this is mostly advanced tickle design methodologies but we can also use this type of methodology like dollar sign as we use in excel microsoft excel for cons uh, like uh, defining the constant but this dollar sign in here define us the variable and uh, we have also have export vivado project to sdk commands here and lecture 3 we have lab 81 which is actually creating a basic project on vivado ip integrated with tickle and we can start with vivado graphical user interface icon or we can even go to vivado tickle cell and write a command of start on school gui actually this commands start the vivado graphical user interface and we can change the vivado directory from tickle console and we can add the sources design sources like dialog source and we can even add constant source as shown in the presentation and we can 
uh, run the synthesis process as we already know about the synthesis tical command which is actually launch underscore runs space synthesis one and we can run the implementation launch underscore runs space implementation one and we can generate the bt stream which is actually write bt stream underscore file name dot bit so if we want to have a, a new dot bit bt stream then we can have write bt stream new dot bit that will generate the corresponding bt stream of the project and in lecture 4 we have lab 2 which is actually importing tickle script from github or tickle file actually this lecture 4 is uh, targeted for if we already have a tickle file of any project generated by another user or another project then we can also have like a tickle file from github there are lots of projects in github which have tickle scripts only there is no projects so we can use those type of tickle script file to generate the corresponding project in vivard ip integrator for that we need to go to vivard ip integrator graphical user interface or console and start gui and we can change our directory to that location where we have tickle file store tickle file then we can type source space project underscore name dot tickle actually this source commands runs the tickle file name of project underscore name so here we have some project name so this current directory have a project underscore name dot tickle file then source underscore sorry source space project underscore name dot tickle file tickle run the project name dot tickle file and if we don't change the directory previously then it will automatically create the project on the app data c user user app data roaming challenge pivado so we can get the project inside of this directory while we change our directory previously then we can get in the corresponding directory like we have changed our directory into e drive xup then we can get this project in xup of e drive and for creating projects uh, with GUI graphical user interface, you can use after uh, opening the Vivado ID, you can just uh, get the create project, manage project, manage IP, and uh, like uh, other options. Then we can go to tools in that, in that menu and uh, click on run tickle commands, and we can locate our tickle script project name dot tickle file then we can click on open then it will also automatically run the tickle file while we have done this process with commands in the previous second steps and we can run the synthesis we can run the implementation or we can run the bit stream generation process and some extra commands which we need to know about is like we can even create a tickle file from block design while we complete our block design in vivara ip integrator we can create that block designs tickle file which is done by this tickle commands which is write underscore bd underscore tickle this write bd tickle which creates the tickle file of block design in the corresponding location this is our location so the location might be different so write underscore bd underscore tickle space location project sorry tickle file name dot tickle and we can even create or generate tickle file of projects which is actually write project tickle and we can have tickle name in location so how to run tickle commands on vivado 16.1 which is generated by 16.4 or later so this is another thing we might need to know about actually sometimes we might get tickle file which is generated from later version of vivado and we need to run that type of tickle file in older version of vivado so while we are working with 2016.1 version of vivado and we get 16.4 version of vivado generated tickle file then we need to do some steps we can have different steps so in the first step we have we can go to uh, we can have notepad plus plus actually this notepad plus plus uh, provide us or allow us to edit the tickle script in standard format so we can see the color coding of tickle file in the notepad plus plus you can instantly install it notepad plus plus if you don't have then we, uh, we can update the tickle file which are opened in notepad plus plus and uh, there is a statement like Vivaro synthesis version. Sometimes we might have Vivaro synthesis version 2015, 2016, 2017. Then we need to revise that version according to our Vivaro version. And we might see some IP version might be 
updated in the article 5 because that is generated by latest version of Vivado. Then we need to first of all run that article file as the process stated here in the Vivado IP integrator. Then if we get some errors on IP version mismatch or IP version is not available in the current version, then we need to do edit that IP version name in the tickle file which is generated by 216.4 words. Then we can run that file again in tickle console. Then we can get the proper project in Vivado IV integrator. Or you can do another process also. You can uh, use that 2016.4 version of tickle file in 2016.4 version of computer or 2016.4 version of machine then it will create a project then you can use that project in any version of Vivado actually project is compatible but tickle file is not compatible with older version so we need to customize it ourselves so if we create a project in 2016.1 then it will also run it 2015.4 however there are some challenges on IP mismatch or IP version uh, not available in the older version but it can work so for version control and Vivado projects with tickle customization you can visit the FEG developer blog which is by Jeff Johnson in fegdeveloper.com slash we have some references for tickle scripting actually we already talk about UZ835 which is actually Vivado tickle con commands user guide from Xilinx and you can also see UZ894 Vivado tickle scripting which is generated by Xilinx and let's go to Vivado and let's have a project on Vivado IP integrator we are going to do lab 8.1 and 8.2 correspondingly. Thank you guys.